What's up guys? Hate to be that guy with the mic or the phone is a mic doing this, but um, my mic doesn't reach that far, so bear with me. Today I'm gonna teach you how to go heavy or today I'm gonna teach you how to prepare to go heavy because tomorrow we got open house at the gym. So we're lifters from everywhere around the valley come to the gym and we all just get after it, go heavy. And I wanna be a little competitive at it. So lifting heavy is something that's necessary in the sport. So if you wanna do weightlifting and you wanna be competitive and you wanna lift heavy, wrong sport. But um, yeah, so it's not something that you should crazily overanalyze, but it's definitely something that needs to be done with intent. It's definitely a skill preparing to go heavy as, as well as going heavy itself. That being said, if you just do like the basics and do them well, you do the basics well and you'll be fine. Um, don't, don't overthink it. I just got off work, it's about 12.30, and I'm gonna hit a primer session right now, tomorrow, because tomorrow's the big day, tomorrow's the event. What my primer sessions look like, snatch up to a few singles, kind of short on time, so probably just one single around 70% of my best, so I'm gonna go up to like 100 for a single. for single on clean and jerk. If I want to power it, I'll power it. If I want to fool it, if I want to power it, front squat it, jerk it, if I want to push jerk it, whatever it is, whatever I feel in that moment, I just do. And then we're going to, then we're gonna front squat. We're gonna front squat up to around 80% of our best front squat or near a heavy clean. Just one single, boom, out. And the whole thing is my legs are kind of fried, but I need to have almost some sort of stimulus of tension from weight and or so that tomorrow, I don't know, it's kind of sometimes personal preference. Sometimes people like to take a few days off altogether. I like to personally still feel that tension in my muscles, so. For example, we're priming today. Um, yeah, but let's get into it. it for the session if you're in a more competitive headspace and you're like going into a bigger competition or even a local competition for sure add some accessories in there some quick core um, just stuff keep you primed that thing I did at the end the little re 
rack from the front squat. I like doing that. Usually on my last working set of my front squat leading into a competition. It almost emulates getting out of a clean for me. And then the re-rack, and then I do a little jerk dip. Sometimes I dump it, sometimes I leave it there, but it's more just feeling the weight, especially if it's heavier than like a clean and jerk you're going to attempt. It's like, it's almost a confidence thing. Um, there's no science behind it, I just, it's been something I've done. Kind of tradition before heaviness, but yeah, that's, that's all for here. All right, now that you're home, you have the rest of your day, you already trained, you already moved around, tomorrow's your heavy session, just chill out. If there is something nagging you, like your shoulder, your knee, a little muscle nagging you, or just a little maintenance thing, I would advise to not be lazy and don't put that off. However, if you're all good to go, just try to get your mind off it, do something you enjoy, preferably unrelated to lifting or the gym. One thing though, you are gonna have to keep up on is, this is gonna sound a little weird, it's a little thing, is your hands. I've had times where my body feels great, my hands are beat up, they're raw, they're sore, and I lift awful. I don't know if that's me being a bitch or not, but it happens. So just make sure you're putting on lotion throughout the day on your hands, Aquaphor, Vaseline, whatever you gotta do. I've even went to bed with gloves on my hand with Vaseline inside the gloves because my hands have been so beat up. I don't know, I don't think you'll have to go that crazy. So those are some things I like to do. But this all kind of wraps up in the way that none of this extra stuff that you're gonna be doing, your body work, you're working with your hands, doing something you enjoy, just getting your mind right, even priming yourself, none of that's going to matter unless you do the core principles. And what are the core principles? The core principles are sleep, nutrition, and hydration. And I'm not saying you gotta get nine hours of sleep, maximize your nutrition for the day, and drink five gallons of water. I'm just saying, do what you normally do, and don't do anything stupid. I've done things that are stupid in the past, whether it was self-sabotage or not, and sometimes I got away with it and lifted fine, performed fine. Other times, I did not. But the more you do it, the more it's gonna catch up to you. So just be smart. Don't do anything over the top. Like if you're going out to dinner and you want one beer, like you're fine. Nine beers may not be the best idea. As far as going out to dinner, for instance, um, this is what I mean about being normal but not going over the top. We're about to go get in and out right now. I'm hungry, I'm gonna get two double doubles, animal style. Huh. That's pretty over the top. <laughs> Well, here, here's the thing. I'm still going to have probably a snack later. It's okay. <laughs> More, I have a bowl of like Greek yogurt, fruit and stuff like that. But here's the thing. I went on a long run Thursday and I'm pretty shot. My quads are pretty shot. My body feels a little shot. When I was doing my prime session, I felt a little, I was, I was feeling it. So I kind of wanted to go over the top in the way of making sure I have enough calories, not in the way of going out to mill. However, this is important because in my head, when I think about getting my meals in, I think about it's okay to have, you know, something extra as long as it's not completely replacing everything else that you need. Like I've had a fairly good diet today. I'm thinking about tomorrow, I wanna be fueled for that. You know what, let me get in and out. I'll get a little bit even extra just in case because of that run I did on Thursday, which I'm not used to a long run like that. So that's what we're doing. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys not exactly tomorrow, but in a few days. But we're filming open house tomorrow, so um, yeah. Keep it going, keep it riding. Happy whatever day of the week it is. And we'll see you next time. Okay. And no drink with the number one and that will be it. Okay. So I have a double double animal. Pussy little niggas, some niggas we diss. Mama, I'm sorry, I'll get it like this. I just been working the Saturdays, every day, matter day, till I get pots like a piss. And this for the fans, started with grands. I get us a Grammy, I put that on mama. The crew full of keepers, I ain't for the drama. The check for the streaming to come with a comma. Let's nigga go. Nigga advance and diamonds is dancing. I put the plans on a digital quote. Niggas that rich, but in person they broke. I take it personal, pity you spoke. I done what you did and I double the vision. I got it, I get it, you gotta be mad. A dog